Hello everyone, welcome to Rapid Recall NEET PG 2023 discussion starting with question number 151 to 175. Question number 171 Diabetic patient presented with cataract, uh, presented with loss of vision. I think image based question was there. So, what was the diagnosis and management that was asked? Two option. Uh, two, question, two part question so the image was about immature senile cataract and the management will be phaco emulsification with intraocular lens implantation so immature senile cataract with phaco posterior chamber PCIOL or IOL intraocular lens implantation next pregnant female uh, BP, is decrease, BP decreases on lying down probable etiology or cause because of IVC compression supine hypertension because of IVC compression because of uh, compression of IV, IVC or inferior vena cava by gravid uterus uh, there will be less venous return so ultimately less BP so pregnant female BP decreasing on lying down because of IVC compression so next question was about heat stroke which is not present or usually not seen in heat stroke yes it is sweating straightforward question repeatedly asked in many exam so next question was about about corrosive poisoning i think it was about sodium hydroxide NOH poisoning then after corrosive poisoning patient presented with dysphagia burning sensation in throat i think some percentage was there 90 percent so what will be the next best step FJ or feeding jejunostomy for this patient to feed the patient. So answer is feeding jejunostomy following corrosive poisoning for dysphagia burning sensation management of this patient. Question number 155 retroperitoneal hematoma joint bleed APTT prolonged probable cause hemophilia factor 8 and 9 deficiency. So retroperitoneal hematoma joint hematrosis with APTT prolonged coagulation pathway defect is probably factor 8 or 9 deficiency. Uh, factor, uh, question number 156 is controversial. I don't know whether any question was there related to ear lobe or not. Do kindly let me know in the comment section. Next question number 157. Uh, which of the following condition I think was managed with hysteroscopy? The answer will be Asherman syndrome or intrauterine synechia for adhesiolysis. So manage with hysteroscopy Asherman syndrome. Next image based question swelling in front of ear mixed consistency and some other options are there. You are also making this question controversial. I don't know whether what are the options but uh, many people are saying this is parotid gland tumor just below the ear lobule and mixed consistency or compressing sub nerve. Uh, so maybe this is parotid gland tumor so I am also keeping this question as controversial question so please do comment in the comment section what was the actual question of parotid gland with image so next coming to question number 159 malaria uh, sorry filaria antigen positive patient I think from Bihar with hepatosplenomegaly one patient became filaria antigen positive next step is DEC provocation test, dithyl carbamazine provocation test. True about radiation, uh, among the options given, the true about radiation will be in radiation exposure inversely related to square of distance. Next, 161 com from community medicine or PSM question, years of potential life loss calculated based on the premature death is YLD. YLD, year lost to disability. So, uh, sorry, year uh, YLD, year of potential life lost calculated based on PHD YLD. Next, uh, image based question total laryngectomy. I think patient presented with some change in voice. He was diagnosed with cancer, underweight, and intervention and the following which patient came with change in voice and the one image was there uh, one neck neck image with some opening was there the question asked was following which procedure patient is coming with change in voice the answer will be total laryngectomy next another image based question was there you are also making this question controversial so many of you are making this question controversial 
i think one image was there image based question i uh, of her either it is hereditary spherocytosis or autoimmune hemolytic anemia it totally depends on the clinical pattern of the question a child with jaundice fatigue splenomegaly maybe is more probably as um, as so um, so many of you are uh, telling me it was a case of hereditary spherocytosis because spherocytes can be seen in autoimmune hemolytic anemia and hereditary spherocytes it, it if the familial member is affected and it is recurrent and child jaundice it may be hereditary spherocytes in that case the answer will be for diagnostic test osmotic fragility test with hereditary spherocytosis if, and if there is any autoimmune pathology suggestive in the clinical picture then the answer can be AIHA with DCT. So, it is more probable answer is hereditary spherocytosis and OFT, but it depends on the type of the smear and clinical pattern that was given in the exam. So, please do let me know in the comment section what was the actual clinical pattern. So, I will discuss in the comment section. Pituitary surgery following pituitary surgery, patient developed diabetes insipidus management, desmopressin for 1 to 2 weeks. Then respiratory distress syndrome, what is the pathogenesis? It is surface tension usually increases because of deficiency of surfactant and decreased compliance, lung compliance decreases. So, collapsibility of the alveoli increases and compliance decreases. So, this is pathogenesis of respiratory distress syndrome, increased surface tension, decreased lung compliance. Then uh, some businessman on NSH probably aspirin. Uh, presenting with hematemesis melena but no organomegaly it is because of NSH induced peptic ulcer disease or PUD so probable answer is peptic ulcer disease patient on NSH like aspirin for joint pain or something uh, arthritis presenting with melena fluid deficit risk of it is ATN acute tubular necrosis iron supplementation question was there so, 7 weeks pregnant female with hemoglobin 9 gram percent. So, when will you start iron? Usually, it is after 14 weeks, but as the patient is already anemic, you should start the iron profile axis early. So, better to is better answer is 8 to 10 weeks. Then, primary amenorrhea question with absent breast and hair, the, the answer will be androgen insensitivity syndrome. Then, one question was there about. C uh, rectum following uh, APR procedure, abdominal perineal dissection was done, and during the procedure, following first major visual ligation, what will be the most common complication? So, answer is sympathetic, uh, sympathetic cutaneous manifestation along with retrograde ejaculation. Sympathetic cutaneous manifestation, retrograde ejaculation. In 171, a young young female coming with cyclical abdominal pain, pubic bulge, suprapubic bulge or swelling and I think on uh, pervaginal examination some collection in the anterior vagina or swelling noted. So, what will be the most common cause uh, or probable reason transverse vaginal septum or TVS. So, then basic question was uh, new adjuvant chemotherapy. Uh, what is the definition, actual definition, chemotherapy before the surgery is the actual definition. I do not know whether this full sentence was given before surgery to control tumor size and invasion something like this or only just before surgery or but the actual answer is before surgery, this kind of before surgery, along surgery, after surgery some kind, this kind of options was there I think. So, uh, just uh, one reminder this uh, recall actually has been done by some of my juniors so please do pardon if I am wrong and if you need any clarification do let me in the comment section and I am very thankful to my juniors Shoujit, Ruchira, Shoham for helping me to recall all the questions. So coming to question number 173 alcoholic male presenting with gout what will be the blood picture scenario or profile. Uh, alcoholic gout actually urate level is usually high so the answer is high urate low lactate no in alcoholic um, gout alcoholic male gout lactate will be high rather it will be high so it will be opposite high glucose no no low glucose low urate no high urate so these are wrong low lactate wrong high glucose wrong low urate wrong so the answer is high urate alcoholic male with gout will find high urate then next question i think was of uh, 
through through about four years then again image based question was there it is polymicrobial infection so four years then again is polymicrobial infection another question mendelian inheritance uh, true 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 statement was there uh, whether one third autosomal dominant some percentage was there it, uh, this kind of question is difficult to remember in the for the exam statistical type of question the answer will be two third of the mendelian inheritance will be of autosomal dominant type in the next video i am going to discuss question number 176 to 200 so do continue watch the video and um, don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching stay tuned